what up windbush here now this is a response to a video i uploaded a few days ago this is for the one that i was talking about with after effects how you can get rid of the fireflies and the noise out of your gpu renders with like redshift and octane etc and so one of the the guys viewing the video his name is brian crocker he was telling me how to remove the grain out of redshift during the render and we did a little bit of back and forth and he actually sent me over this cheat sheet that I looked over. And so basically he was saying, you know, if you up your samples and you override your samples and reflections, either the 128 to 250 um, samples, and then you optimize your materials over here and your maximum trace depth, that that will help eliminate a lot of the fireflies. And so I tested out this method and I did a render and it actually worked out really well. So basically if I'm in um, Cinema 4D, and I go to my render settings, get on the red shift. I up my samples here. So my minimal samples are 128, max samples 256. And then I go over to optimize and under maximum trace depth, I up my reflections to uh, 12. Ryan was saying anywhere between 10 and 12. And then refraction, that's for if you have any type of opacity, which I do have a little bit here. And so I did two just to be safe. And then for the combined, that's basically your reflection and your refractions um, added together. So that will equal out to 14. So I did a render. It took a little bit there. And it only up my um, my render time by so a couple of seconds per frame. So it's a really good method. I have it open here in After Effects. And I actually did a side-by-side. -side. Um, I hope in YouTube you can see the difference here. The right side is my old render. And then the left hand side is the new render with the new settings out of redshift and if i do a playback here hopefully it plays back pretty well but you can tell a lot of the grain is cleaned up here especially in the h that was my problem area you can tell here on the right hand side there's a lot of noise grain coming through over there and then on the left hand side i mean there's a, a tiny bit but not really noticeable and yeah it's almost perfect so I wanted to do this video, give you guys an update. If you're using Redshift, you can follow the settings. I'll put Ryan's cheat sheet on my Facebook group, and then I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out for yourselves. I definitely want to give Ryan's company a shout out here. So Punch Club Studios, they're based out of South Africa, which is a place I really want to go visit one day. So shout out to Ryan, shout out to Punch Club Studios, and yeah i mean if you guys ever have any suggestions for me like that please let me know we're all learning together and so i definitely appreciate that love and support as always subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my videos leave a comment as always because i always reply and try to help you guys out and you know vice versa you guys are helping me out and then definitely leave a thumbs up that helps me a lot out with youtube and so until next time keep designing and thank you guys for the support again i'll see you next time